Hello, my peeps. This Algebra Nation video will cover the rest of page 126 on the left side. Again, it's going to take some practice here. Let's throw in some negative signs. I haven't done that yet. You notice this question, the last question, they're all positive. Pretty. Yes. Let's do this one. Step one. 3 times negative 20, but really I'm looking at 3 times 20, but it's going to be negative 60. What multiplies to negative 60 adds to negative 7. So the first thing I'm going to have to do here is figure out the factors of 60. 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15. Anything yet? Nope. 5 times 12, that would work. Now in order for 5 times 12 to give you negative 60, that means one of them has to be negative. But remember, it still has to add to negative 7. Negative 12, positive 5. Positive 5 times negative 12 will give you negative 60. Negative 12 plus 5 will add to negative 7. So that's how we have to figure it out. It's going to take some time here. Here we go. I'm going to split this up, giving me 3e squared and minus 20. Remember, the outside terms just drop down. Negative 70, I would rewrite as positive 5e minus 12e. And again, I could write minus 12e plus 5e. The order doesn't matter. We'll still get the same answer when we factor this at the end. All right, first two terms, last two terms. What's in common with the first two? Just an e. I'm left with 3e plus 5. Now, here's a little extra for you. You always drop the middle term. So if it's a minus, you're going to drop the negative. If it was a plus, you're going to bring down the positive, which means you're going to factor out a negative as well as, let's see, 12e and 20. Just looking at the coefficients, negative 12e minus 20, if I want to say the whole thing, are divisible by 4, but really I'm factoring out a negative 4. And whenever you factor out a negative, remember, all the signs change. Whenever you factor out a negative, every sign changes. So instead of negative, it'll be positive 3e. Instead of negative, it'll be positive 5. And again, these binomials better match up. If not, we need to go back and check our work. Now I'll factor out the 3e plus 5, and I'm left with e minus 4. So I've done two, now I want you to do two. You're ready to pause that video, give these two a try. Ready? And pause now. Maybe we should take a brain break. Because you don't want let you don't want to have this happen to you on the EOC. That would be epic. Fail. Back to work. Okay, ready? Just a bunch of clockwork here. Step one, what are we going to do? 6 times 5 will give you 30. Next, what are we thinking of? 1 multiplies to 30 and adds to 31. So we start writing down all the factors of 30. 1 times 30, stop right there. That's it. Yes. So that means 6a squared and plus 5, I bring them down, 31a becomes plus 1a plus 30a. If you wrote them the other way around, again, we should still get the same answer. First two terms, last two terms. What's in common with the first two? a, and we're left with 6a plus 1. Drop down the middle sign. 30a plus 5 are both divisible by 5. 6a plus, remember, anything divided by itself is a 1. We got the same binomial. Awesome. We take out 6a plus 1s, and we're left with a plus 5. So if you got that answer, or remember, you can always switch them. a plus 5 times 6a plus 1 would be the same. It would be equivalent. Then we got the right answer. Okay, from here, let's see. I got another one. What do I do first? 
8 times 3 will give me 24. What multiplies 24 and adds to 10? 1 times 24, 2 times 12. Hmm, 2 times 12. Well, it would have to be a negative 12 and positive 2 to add to negative 10, but that won't multiply to a positive 24. Be very careful, because some factors might look like they're going to work, but they have to multiply to positive 24 in this case and add to negative 10. That one's not going to work. Mm -mm. 3 times 8, 4 times 6. There we go. Negative 4, negative 6. Because remember, a negative times negative will give me positive, and negative 4 plus negative 6 will give me negative 10. So be really careful with factors. Make sure that not only does it multiply and add, but of course it multiplies and adds to the correct signs as well. 8e squared plus 3. Bring them down. Negative 10e will be minus 4e minus 6e. What's in common with the first two terms? I can factor out a 4 and an e. Leave me with 2e minus 1. Bring down the middle sign, which is negative again, which means all the signs are going to change. And I can factor out not just a 3, but a negative 3. Negative becomes a positive, and I have a 2e. Negative becomes a, well, positive in this case, becomes a negative. By factor out, I'm left with a negative 1. And again, they match, as they should. 2e minus 1 times 4e minus 3. So there we go, and you know what time it is.